Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. Today I want to set up all my daily pages ready to go for the week. All right, you guys, I am going to set up a few daily pages for the week and I'm trying to use my odds and ends stickers. So I have a ton of stickers that I got when I was at Go Wild the past couple years, a lot of different contact cards that were actual stickers, some small shop stickers in here. Um, and I'm excited to use a few. Oh, there's some good ones back here. Oh, and some, okay. All right. Got some Archer and Olive. We're going to use these to decorate. Um, I think daily pages are a great way to use up kind of your odds and ends stickers. And hopefully this inspires you a little bit. I'm going to be using the daily dashboard layout available over on my website. All right, let's go. All right, so I have been cleaning out my entire craft studios. Anyone else in like decluttering mode? That's what I've been focusing on through the month of January, now into February. And as I've been doing that in my craft studio, I've come across all of these, what I call leftover sticker sheets. They're kind of the odds and ends. They came with different subscription boxes that I never got used or I got them at Go Wild. And it's hard because I feel like some of them, I don't have enough to do a full on planner spread, or I don't have enough to do um, a bigger project. It's just a few stickers here and there, but I still like some of the stickers and I don't want to throw them out. So I think daily pages are an excellent opportunity. And that is what I'm going to work on today. So these particular stickers, these are from an old or Archer and Olive uh, subscription box. I think they are so pretty, but the Archer and Olive, Olive stickers have a little bit of a sheen to them. So I haven't generally used them in my regular planner, but I think they're fun for a day here and there in the daily plan with me. So here's how I'm going to set it up. I have a little um, adventure awaits there at the top in the clouds. Um, I'm going to have this pink box be a highlight. I enjoy coming back to my daily planner at the end of the day. So normally I set this up at the beginning of the day, right as the kids are leaving for school um, with my schedule for the day, all of the to do's, all of that. It's like a brain dump. And then coming back at the end of the, of the day to check in to see what got done and then taking a moment to write down some highlights from the day has been a really good grounding practice for me, something I very much enjoyed. So I'm gonna have that little pink box be my highlights box. And then I'm gonna create a, another box first adventure time. That's gonna be where the schedule goes. I always put my schedule in this uh, top box over here because I don't really, I don't need the hourly schedule, but I do need plenty of room to write out uh, all of my kids' practices and things like that, meetings that I might have. Um, just a quick kind of bullet list of the schedule. And then I'm going to use this sticker. It says packing list. I'm not using the sticker because I'm actually packing on this particular day. I like packing lists because I enjoy taking a moment to journal about what am I going to let go of today? what expectations, what uh, negative thoughts, what do I plan to pack up and let go today? So I'm going to just include a little section just for that packing list. And then that daily sheet is done. All right, some more Archer and Olive. This time these I had and they are already Valentine's theme. So how perfect is that? I'm going to do a little uh, strip of stickers right here down the middle of this page. We're just going to connect all of these different florals to divide the two halves of the daily dashboard plan with me. So again, I like to put my schedule in that box. Some people like to put affirmations in there. Some people like to use the box for their gratitude list, whatever the case may be. And then of course there's a, a long running to-do list, which is perfect for how I like to just kind of think through my day, just dump it all out at the beginning of the day. What do I need to get done? So I have that there on the left hand side and on the right hand side, I'm going to grab a few of these stickers to help me um, make some plans. First goals here at the top, that might be my top three for the day. Top three things I want to focus on. I love this little kind of faux washi sticker. We're just going to bring it in because that blue and red together. Yes, please. So pretty. So I'm going to include this little washi sticker. I just want to get it in just the right place. Then there's a little header that says notes. Fabulous to have a place for notes on your daily pages. For me, my planner is open to my daily page throughout the day. That's where I leave it open. So having a place for notes 
a lot of times for things that I need to do in the coming days. So things that I don't want to forget about and I just want to walk by and jot it down. I need to check on this order. I need to update this video, that type of thing. Those are, that's what I would keep in the notes section. And then for this particular one, this month I'm trying to focus on sending a little bit more copy mail to friends and family and things like that. So on this bottom box, I will put who I plan to send happy mail to that particular day because I have that cute envelope sticker. So why not? few more little decorations and then this one's done you can see it doesn't take very long to decorate your daily pages I like to do it in advance so that I just have pages to choose from because I use a disc planner I can just pull them out and switch them around if one just doesn't speak to me for a particular day but I generally decorate about five at a time because I use these on the weekdays I'm gonna use my little get it done label right there that one is all ready to go Next one is going to be a total different feel because we're going to use Christy Ann Designs stickers. Um, these I received at Go Wild the past couple years. I haven't really used them very much in my planner, but I think they're fun and bright. Um, rainbow, it's totally my vibe. They just haven't made it into my planner. So we're going to start with this one at the bottom. Bring your own sunshine. Just a little positive quote, little inspiration there at the bottom. And then I'm going to stick some more quotes because why not have, um, like I said, this is the page I see over and over throughout the day because it's, you know, open on my desk. This one says rock out with your stickers out. Perfect. And then you can do hard things. Another great inspiration sticker for the day. Um, just bringing in a few bright colors here and there to um, add, add a little brightness to your day. Okay. Do this now. Love that for my task list. And then I wanted to use the sticker it says you can't pour from an empty cup. And I think your daily pages are a great way to practice a little self-care. And sometimes if I don't track it, if I don't do it intentionally, then zero self-care is going to happen for days and days and weeks and weeks just because of the busyness of everything that I have uh, going on in my daily life. So I like to every now and then put a very intentional self-care spot on my daily page because that makes me slow down and think and then specifically unplug is one I like to do from time to time and again that's a hard thing to do with my particular job because I'm in social media and because that's just what happens so um putting a sticker to remind me setting up a time or a day where I'm like you know what I'm unplugging this evening um that can be really really helpful so what a day. That's a great place, again, for that highlight section that I like to do. And then progress over perfection. That is a great place to put um, some tracking. So I've had people ask me questions about, you know, creating some different trackers, doing um, trackers for your water, doing trackers for um, medicines throughout the day. Daily pages are a great place to do that. And especially one that's laid out like this with the dot grid, you can just simply draw in your own trackers, you know, the, the correct number of boxes that you need to check off for particular medicines or, um, you know, bottles of water each day, whatever you want to do. It just makes it really simple and easy um, to do on your daily page. And again, it's something you are coming back to over and over throughout the day. Next up, we have some stickers from Kubo and Lucy. I am assuming that I got these at Go Wild. They're in my Go Wild stash. And I happen to have some washi tape that goes really nicely. These stickers all have like a watercolor journaling feel to them. I love it. It's like a travel journal type situation. And they have, um, they feel like washi tape, these particular stickers. Kubo and Lucy um, stationery.com. So check them out. Very pretty. So I'm just going to use these to kind of decorate this particular one. Again, I always need a to-do list. I feel like we could all use a to-do list almost every single day. I've had several people tell me they like this layout because they, it's such a long to-do list. They just use one page for um, several days in a row. It's not for each day. They're just no, you know, I have a lot coming up in the next few days. I'm going to make a really long to-do list. And this is kind of a one that travels with me. It helps me check off things for a particular project or a particularly busy uh, season at work. They might just use a few of these during the week instead of marking it for a day. They just say, hey, this is for Monday through Wednesday of this week, just knowing that they have to get certain things done, which I think is fantastic. A long to-do list I will take every single time. This one I'm setting up with the to-do list, a gratitude list that is also something I check in with um, on a daily basis. Gratitude list up there, usually top three is what I try to do in gratitude. And then intentions, 
that is a place where I could write some like a list of intentions, but most likely what I will do is journal about my intentions over that day. Intention intentions like how I want to feel, um, what I want the day to look like, just kind of putting it on paper and then kind of letting go of the need to control all of that. Um, but for me, putting it on paper really helps kind of get it out of my head and get me um, on the right track to start the day. Okay, you can see I'm trying to use all those leftover little stickers. Like no need to leave any on the sheet. I'm just gonna use one whole tiny sheet on this spread, using up all the stickers, filling in the spaces, and it's super cute. I love how these come out because I feel like they have a very much an abundant feel to them um, when you're able to use up all those little stickers. All right, next up, this one is another one I received at Go Wild. Not totally my vibe. This is not necessarily a sticker sheet that I would normally gravitate to, but I love that I'm able to kind of celebrate it and give it its moment in my planner. We're going to start out with some washi tape that looks like composition notebook. I think I got this from Wild University, actually, from one of the kits that they sent at the beginning of um, each year. So I got that and then we're just going to have fun with these little girls, little moments um, and it's going to be pretty simple black boxes and these little stickers but I like how it kind of comes together. It's fun to try some different styles. Like I said, this is not one that I would normally gravitate to or one that I would do a whole um, week spread in my planner but I can have fun playing with some different styling of stickers and it doesn't have to be something that I'm super attached to because it's just a daily sheet one that I'm going to use every now and then so we have our get it done this one I'm going to label check in because it's nice to have moments to check in with yourself throughout the week check in how are you doing how are you feeling you know how is it all coming together down here top moments because again I love those highlights and then just a few stickers scattered throughout I am just loving the flexibility of daily planning, loving that it gives me a place to try some different things in my planner and to check in on different things in my planner. Um, it has be, become something that I very much enjoy doing. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. These daily pages will be linked down below. You can find them over on my website, scrappywife.com. I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon family. You all are just amazing. We have a fabulous time over on Patreon and we would love for all of you to join us over there. You can check out the link down below and start a seven day free trial to see what it is all about. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.